Hello everyone, Dana 14th Prime here. I want to do a video share out today with you guys on the Avengers Infinity War Hot Toys 6 scale Captain America. This is the movie promo edition. Movie base, so obviously not your traditional take on Cap. He's got the just worn out, dirty Captain America suit. It is largely the Civil War type suit, but just heavily worn. And we know he showed up with the long hair and the scruffy beard and all that. So very different look for our Chris Evans Captain America versus prior movies. All that being said, for what Cap was in the movie, uh, this figure does a very, very nice job. Incorporates a lot of what we saw from the concept version in terms of the new body, the improved type suit that gives a new fit and a good athletic build. So I think the likeness overall in terms of across the body remains improved versus prior versions. If you're interested in picking this figure up, check the link in the description below. As always, if anything on the channel is ever helpful to you, easiest thing you can do to say thanks is jump through those links and do any of your shopping. Also, if you're interested in checking out the packaging and the pack out of this figure, check me out on Instagram, same handle, Dan14ThPrime. And also, be sure to check the links in my bio out of Instagram. Okay, so let's jump in closer and check this figure out. Let's start in close on this head sculpt. The head sculpt is not 100%, but I think it's uh, better than people give it credit for, and certainly better at some angles than others. One thing people always say about this head sculpt is, it doesn't look like Chris Evans. And my reaction to that is always, Chris Evans doesn't look like Chris Evans in this movie. With the long hair and the beard, I mean, the guy was just like barely recognizable, I even thought. But still, even being the case, you know, the sculpt is probably uh, 80, 85 percent, something like that. It's definitely towards the lower half of the face where it starts to look a bit funky into the jaw. But you can see a lot of good detail, some wrinkles across the brow. I think the sculpted hair looks really good. The beard looks really good. Eyes, as always, with Hot Toys on point. The skin tone uh, gets better. You know, they're doing a better job with Cap's skin tone in these last couple releases. So, you know, good but not great head sculpt, let's call it. Then let's take a pan down the suit. Again, it's like, you know, the Civil War suit, just all dirtied up, right? The, store ripped away, the star ripped away. I st still got the classic kind of uh, leather buckles and straps going over the shoulders, which looks good. A lot of nice paint, just detailed and airbrushed, however they do it, kind of worn through. The torso and everything, that white looks really good. You see a lot of that shading there. So still very sharp looking. The material, again, it had advanced. It's more of like that concept art type material, kind of let's call it pleatherish type material. It's not cloth like we had with Civil War. Now I'm just going to chunk this out so we don't get such steep angles here. But you got the belt section there. Looks good. Great detailing. Uh, the hands you can see there. Um... He's got like a full wrist glove that comes up, so it limits articulation. you got like the bare forearms there. Look good. I mean, in terms of the detail you see in there and the shading and even almost like, you know, skin, kind of like some veins under it type look. So really great job with the skin effect. And then down to the pants, like any cap suit, you know, he's got some big knee pads. And he's got the boots and shin guards uh, pretty consistent with what we would have seen on prior figures. Do a bit on the profile here. Side of the head again, as we saw. Big shoulders, again, this is where I just think the build is so much better on these new bodies and suits they're using across the shoulders and the traps and just the tapering into the waist looks so much better on these new figures. See the side of those forearms, again, just really cool looking skin effect down at the brown and black gloves. Then here with the lower half, got the arm out of the way so you can look up into the torso, see some of that nice detailing, some red panels and things that go on inside of uh, that midsection there. Around the side of the belt, he's got some pouches, kind of uh, buckles and straps on there. Same thing, pockets on the side of the pant, uh, which kind of come on down into the side of the boot, where he's got some nice buckles. Two pieces on the boot, kind of top piece here, and, and then a lower foot, so you get good articulation for that. Back of the figure here, great job with the sculpted hair and the shading through there. Uh, the belt buckles, if you will, the shoulder straps uh, coming across and buckling up there. Looks really, really nice. The shoulders, again, I think the shape is, is so much more improved. Uh, this kind of armor plate, if you will, kind of clothing section across his back just tapers so much better with the new material and the new body. Elbow pads back there. Back of the figure here can get a little kind of clunky, sloppy, where you got like the belt and the pants and then this little pullover armor piece uh, all coming together there. Sometimes you need to kind of just fit all that back together. Guy's got like no butt, so the pants always fit a little weird in the butt too. 
because Hot Toys uh, gave all the butt to, to the Deadpool figure. Check that video out if you know what I'm talking about. And back of the pants, you know, all pretty nice and clean uh, with that new material. And just pulling this guy in really close just so you can look at a lot of the fine detail. Texture, kind of almost scale mailed like they did with the concept version through the suit. This new material lets you get that effect. Different holes and things on the chest there you can see look really good. You can check out that waist section up close. Giving you a super kind of close in here so you can check out and appreciate this new material. Well, new finger quotes, but you know, it's not the most leathery. You know, it's not Batman Arkham Knight Nightmares. Uh, it's not Iron Spider, that's for sure. But it's not like the regular cloth and not like we got with Civil War. So it's, it's more like that concept material that we saw. Here he is standing next to his predecessor, the uh, Civil War concept version. Beautiful figure. You can really see here the similarities in like the suit material and the build of the figure in terms of the body they used between these two. The big step up in terms of uh, just that look there across the chest and the shoulder area. And again, the skin tone improvement. I actually sold my Civil War figure. Can't justify three caps. If you want to see this guy compared to the Civil War, check out his video back on the channel. And I'm also rolling the dice that uh, next May, the new Avengers movie, we're going to get Cap back in a very traditional classic sort of look. And with these improvements here in front of you, that'll be the Cap to have. And here's Cap with some of his other Infinity War friends. Hot Toys has got a lot of these figures coming out soon, so it's going to start to fill up in a hurry. Again, check out my Instagram. Jump through my Buy Hot Toys link if you're interested in picking up any of these figures. We start to get into some of the extras here, and he's got his two Vibranium Shields. Got the one on the right expanded and the one on the left collapsed, but they are identical. Really nice kind of paintwork and coloring across those. Really cool band. Got that very uh, Black Panther kind of detail look across it. Sort of mechanical looking inside there. And then to uh, extend them, you can do it in any order. You know, pulling out the sides. Pulling out the tip. And then you just sort of have this, there's this piece up top that kind of floats on top. You can then settle that in and make it a nice flush flat shield. And again, if we put this one back, again, any order, you can crunch in the nose. You want to, of course, then lift that piece out. And then push those in. Very cool accessories here. He also comes with the Proxima Midnight Spear. A beautiful... Very long spear. Get one more pose for you up here. This pose looks better in some angles than others. The spear's a good inch taller than the figure. We'll go in close, but I just want to give you a bit of a wide angle here. Kind of a triple pointed spear. I think that's like that blue kind of, I don't know, laser effect, I'll call it or whatever, at the end. And then if we just jump in here, you've got this end of the, of the spear with that blue effect that I mentioned. Beautiful kind of metallic, gunmetal, whatever that is. Long, long shaft to the prong end. And yeah, that's, that's pretty cool looking up there as well. It's a really cool piece. Again, there's a movie promo version and a regular version. Uh, this is even in the regular version. Then here, you guys remember that Crocodile Dundee movie with that, that's not a knife, this is a knife. That's what I think about with this thing. This is the Corvus Clave Spear. That is the movie promo. Again, here's Lolio Proxima Midnight Spear. Corvus goes another an inch longer. So just massive, massive piece. Beautiful. And again, I always try to fit it in so you can see it. But nice silver blade up top. And then these kind of gold hooked ends. Black brownish handle. Some gold trimmings along the way. And then same thing on the other side with silver blade. And different gold kind of hooked ends. So if you'd be wondering, do you want the movie promo or the regular, this is kind of your decision point. If this looks cool and you want this, uh, you got to get the movie promo edition. Just look at all that great detail in there on that blade, on all of these accents molded in there and how well they're just lined in. Just really, really beautiful. The handle, it's dark, but it's got, I don't know what to call it, ribbed sort of effect, just vertical, you know, ribbing going across it. And then this end here, the smaller end, I guess. But huge all the same and really sharp. So this is an awesome piece. This is your main movie promo accessory. 
In terms of hands, this is all of them. So I have none on the figure. You get these eight hands, basically a pair of fists, a pair of this gripping hand, which is mainly for like the spears, a pair of this soft, kind of more open hand. Then you get the face palm and the point. You gotta lead the charge when you're cap. I will say one thing with the uh, pull hands is they're not fully molded. They're, um, there's a seam, and one of mine just broke. But not broke, but it came apart at the seam, and I can't for the life of me get the glue to kind of keep it together. So I've got to follow up on that. But just watch out when you pull the hands open, because uh, that might pop out on that seam as mine did. In terms of the stand, we get our typical Infinity War, the hexagon. Avengers Infinity War stand, Captain America there. He just comes with the crotch grabber. And then also, and I think this might be movie promo. You check when you shop. Can't recall top of mind, but you get this little uh, stone cover piece you could put on there to get this diorama effect. Because there's this outrider piece, which you could, whatever, put on here any number of ways. All he is, you can see he's got a flat base there. Pretty well done, you know, it's like a bust, let's say, uh, but there's all kinds of detail through the skin. Check out the gold accents through the arms and all these places. So, you know, if you want an Outrider, chances are they'll never make that figure that they've uh, demoed into conventions, so this would be your next best thing if you think you'd like something like that. So cool teeth and even the mouth in there, painted really well. So if you like this, um, be sure to check whether or not it's movie promo. Because if so, it might not be in your uh, your regular cap. The articulation on this figure is about the same as it was on concept, which means it has its limitations. Uh, the head will spin around there. Look down about like that. Look up just a little bit. It kind of wants to push back on us. Arms will come up about like this. There's no ratchets or anything in there that really help. Um fight the, the pullback that you get from the suit. There's that arm going up like that. And back only about like that. Elbow is very good. You'll need to manage that. He's got these bare arms, but these gnarly elbows. Uh, again, if I was pulling down the suit before I put that pose, I'd probably have enough slack to kind of cover that. Um, so you'll just watch that when you pose. Again, the wrist, like I mentioned, the long wrist cup limits what you can do. You can't really do the... Uh, you know, repulsor blast, if you will, the, the pullback at the wrist, so it just spins. In terms of the torso, I mean, it's pretty good, like going side to side. I'm sure the stuff's getting all goofed up in the back, uh, coming unbuttoned and stuff like that back there. Got a really good crunch over. That's pretty good. Again, you'll need to clean up messes like that back there. I think the lean back is pretty good as well. You get a bit of twist down there. You know, a bit at kind of the waist and the torso. But not too bad through there. The legs uh, remain the most severe limitation. So you can go out about like that. Again, they put a little panel in there. Provides a little bit of extra space. Thank God. Same with what we call it, saw in concept. This is the big issue. Like, you can't get his thigh up at all. So I was trying to do a simple pose. I just had this outrider and I was like, okay, let me just kind of put his foot on top of there like he just beat his ass, right? You cannot get his leg up high enough to even do something like that. The knee otherwise is good. And then you get some hip, some cut up there at the thigh. And then down here at the foot, like I said, separate pieces. So you get good, you know, flexibility, rocking, stuff like that. Just came on pegged. Uh, but the articulation down there will be good. That's it for the review. Thanks for sticking around. Let me shake your hand, sir. Again, links in the description below if you're interested in picking up any of these figures. Check out my Amazon page as well. As always, if anything on the channel is ever helpful to you, any shopping you do through those links supports the channel at no cost to you and is very much appreciated. Overall, I'm happy with the figure. I gotta get my hand checked out there. But this figure uses a lot of what we saw in the concept version cap that I loved. And neck down, you're 100% spot on to the movie. Yes, I'd like more leg articulation. And then again, head sculpt, 85%. So happy to put the guy on the shelf. Stay tuned for more Hot Toys and Infinity War figure reviews. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you next time.